Hello everyone, Namaste. Welcome to my channel Academic Tuber. Today we are going to discuss Unit 24 from Grade 8 Science that is Environment and Sustainable Development. Before that, if you are new to this channel, please subscribe the channel and for more updates hit the bell icon. If you want more videos related to this, please like and do share these videos with your friend and also don't forget to give your valuable response in comment section. We know that our earth is a common home for all the living organisms. All living organisms use the resources available on earth for their growth and development. They satisfy their needs using these resources. And the resources include air, water, soil, food, etc. So the interaction between the living and non-living things is called environment. Sustainable development is the development that means the need of present generation without the compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Importance of environment for living beings. The environment is very important for living beings because everything that supports the survival of living beings is dependent on it. It is simply the home of mankind and other living beings. Wellness of environment directly relates to the wellness and health in human beings. And every other species. Human beings are, as well as other living beings fully depend on environment to fulfill their needs. They get air, water, food, habitat etc. from environment for their survival and growth. Therefore environment is very important for living beings. Biodiversity We see various types of birds, plants, animals in our environment. Various forms of life coexist together by interaction. So biodiversity is the variation of life forms none of them are alike every individual is different in habitat so it can be studied on various level at the highest level we can look at all the different species on the entire earth on a much smaller scale we can study biodiversity within a pond ecosystem a neighborhood park or in a larger scale in the entire forest Identifying and understanding the relationship between different organisms is a difficult word. All the living plants and animals have different shapes, size, weight, quality, etc. And the total sum of all these differences in species, genetic and ecosystem level is called biodiversity. Biodiversity includes the number of all the species and their difference in ecosystem. Biodiversity it is the degree of variation of life on the earth on the basis of their number, type, gene, ecosystem, etc. Example, a variety of plants and animals are found in our locality. The plants and animals are different from each other. Plants and animals are different in shape, size, behavior, habitat, life cycle, reproduction, etc. Their diversity and type of ecosystem explain biodiversity. Types of biodiversity. We can study biodiversity under three headings. They are ecosystem diversity, species diversity, and genetic diversity. First one, ecosystem diversity. The diversity in ecological system due to the variation in climatic and geographical condition is called ecosystem. Our Earth is a living planet, so we all, so we call it as biosphere. Three parts of earth is covered with water and one part is covered with land. There are different ecological zones from tropical to the tundra in the terrestrial ecosystem. On the other hand, there are differences in the aquatic ecosystem. It ranges from ocean, sea, river, ponds and wetlands to the lakes. These differences are due to difference in composition of land and climate. So ecosystem diversity is the diversity of natural communities, ecosystem and habitat. It is a different way that species interact with each other and their environment in ecosystem level. The forests of Tarai differ from the forests of Churia Hills and high altitude. They are different in because of difference of climate, temperature and rainfall. On the other hand, we may have wetlands, river, pond and lakes. So there is again another diversity of plants and animals. Nepal is rich in ecosystem diversity. In Nepal, various types of aquatic and terrestrial ecosystem are found in different parts of the country due to variation in climatic and geographical conditions. 
Next one is species diversity. The variation among different species of organism is called species diversity. None of the species found on earth are alike. They differ with one another in many aspects. We have different names for the plants found in the surrounding. If you look carefully, we find variety of plants and animals around us. For example, diversity among cow, goat, frog, buffalo, horses, etc. These differences between various species are called the species diversity. And finally, genetic diversity. The variation in the hereditary units among the members of same species is called genetic diversity. Characters are transmitted from parents to offspring. Characters are brought to the offspring from the genes. So the variation existing within a particular species is called genetic diversity. A helpful way to understand genetic diversity is to think about a tiger. All tigers are part of same species but their genes can dictate whether they are Panthera tigris, Sumatra, Panthera tigris, Corbiti or the Panthera tigris tigris. There can be a lot of variation in genes. Just think all the colors, shape, sizes that make up the genetic diversity of tigers. Development and its importance for human being. The act process of growing or causing something to grow or become larger or more advanced is simply known as development. Development improves the living standard of people. Life becomes more comfortable with development. Development improves the facility of transportation, education, communication, hospital, etc. So development is very important for the human beings. Sustainable development. Sustainable development is the development that meets the need of present generation without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Sustainable development is also called a long-lasting development. It helps for the conservation of human life and natural resources. So every development of works and activities should be environment friendly. Why is sustainable? So here is one question regarding the sustainable development. So sustainable development it is called it is also called long lasting development or long term development. And why it is called long term development? Sustainable development is the development that can be maintained for a long time. Sustainable development is related to those development activities which do not degrade the environment and can be carried out for a long time. So sustainable development is called a long term development. Principle of sustainable development. The main principle of sustainable development are as follows. First one is conservation of ecosystem. The main aim of sustainable development is to conserve the natural resources of biosphere. So terrestrial fresh water and marine ecosystem should be conserved. This is possibly by the combined effort of all the people living in this globe. Next one is conservation of biodiversity. All the species of the world is equally important. Extinction of one will affect the existence of another. Conserving natural resources means conserving biodiversity. National and international programs for the conservation of biodiversity should be launched throughout the world. This, will, this is necessary from the local level. Sustainable Development of Society Various development works should be launched in the society for the sustainable development, better education, healthy society, employment, protection and improvement of quality of life in the society helps for the sustainable development of society. The sustainable development of the society can be done by providing different facilities like the education, health, employment, security, etc. Population control as population increases, the natural resources will, will be conserved more, consumed more and pollution will be increased. The demand of need will increase when there will be population growth. So it is an immediate concern to make balance in nature by controlling population growth. Development of human resource 
Men play a vital role for the conservation and use of natural resources. Conservation education, thinking of belongingness, and preparation of trained manpower for the conservation of nature and natural resources. For this purpose, mass education is a must. Human resource can be developed by providing the facility of education, health, and health, etc. Increase in participation. Increase in people's participation. People should work locally and away globally. Each and every people have the equal responsibility for the conservation of natural resources. To attain the objective of sustainable development, participation of people with positive thinking is a must. Conservation of Culture Heritage Superstition does not come under culture heritage. There are various historical and cultural heritage in the world. Various ethnic groups have their culture, social organization, religion, etc. All of them fall under the social culture heritage. Sustainable development focuses on the conservation of those resources because conserving them achieves the goal of sustainable development. Man made social norms and values, tradition, custom, religious place, and culture are called the culture heritage. The sustainable development has given emphasis on the conservation of culture heritage. It is our duty to conserve the religious culture tradition by avoiding the superstition including within the carrying capacity of earth. The development works should maintain the balance between the availability of the natural resources and pace of development. Earth cannot provide the resources continuously for a long period of time. The capacity of the natural resources in a particular area is limited. They can be used up to its optimum limit. After that, the demand for the development could not be fulfilled by earth. Excessive use of natural resources cause negative impact in environment. So, we should keep keen concern on the carrying capacity of earth as well. So, here is one question. What is meant by the carrying capacity of the earth? It means the maximum number of uh, individuals that the earth can sustain. Why should we conserve biodiversity? We should conserve biodiversity because all the living organisms are vital part of nature. The balance of the nature is affected when there is negative effect on these living beings. How is sustainable development of a society done? Healthy habitat, balanced diet, health services, quality education and job opportunities are some elements of sustainable society. These elements develop positive attitude towards nature and motive motivate people for the conservation of the environment. In this way, sustainable development of society is done. How does population control help in sustainable development? Population growth affects the environment. The demand for the natural resources increases with the population growth. Balance should be maintained between the population growth and environment resources. So population growth should be controlled for meeting the goal of the sustainable development. Next question. Why should we conserve cultural resources? Cultural heritage are the important aspects of the environment. People should have a positive attitude and behavior towards the cultural resources. Conservation of cultural heritage contributes to implement principle of sustainable development. So, we should conserve the cultural resources. Global efforts on the sustainable development. Global efforts on the sustainable development. So, first one is Care of natural and natural resource management. Second one, investment in environment, conservation of biodiversity, conservation of ecosystem, pollution control, population control and poverty elevation, increase in public participation, non-governmental organization and collective group information. These are some of the goals on goal effort, global efforts on sustainable development. So after this, now we are going to discuss some of the importance of sustainable development. Appropriate use of resources. We have to use such type of technology which use little sources but gives more benefit. Mineral oil, drinking water, insecticides, chemical fertilizers, forest products should be used in little amount. Their excessive use directly hampers the future development. Sense of responsibility. Sustainable development program brings wisdom, technique, and vision of a person. 
This in turn brings the appropriate use and the conservation of natural resources. We come to think that all the resources are common. If it is hampered, we all will be affected. This belief is obtained by the sustainable development. Next one, development of basic aspects. Sustainable development includes the development of health, education, agriculture, social development, etc. If these basic needs are fulfilled, it leads in the direction of conservation of environment, which in turn achieved by our combined effort. Next one, people participation based development. Development, sustainable development promotes the public involvement. This helps for the development of local people and environment conservation. This in turn educates local people. They think that this participation is for their own benefits. Next one, determination of limit of development. People might use the maximum amount of natural resources for the overall development and raise their economy. This will deplete the non-renewable resources. Therefore, development work should sustain for the future use of natural resources as well. So, sustainable development limits the direction of the op direction for the determination of the limit of development. And last one, long-term vision. Sustainable development helps for the visionary thinking about the use of natural resources. It helps to preserve the natural resources for the future use. Hence, it helps for maintaining the balance of the ecosystem. So now we are going to discuss some of the questions related with the importance of sustainable development. What is meant by the development based on the people's participation? People's participatory is compulsory for the development of the local area. It makes people feel that they can contribute to the development of any aspects of their locality. They can also have a long-term benefit from such works. They also learn to properly mobilize local resources for their own betterment. Why is limit of development determined? Limit of development limits the use of natural resources and reduces the use of chemical fertilizer and insecticides. If there is no limit of development, the development activities are uh, constructed haphazardly which causes the loss of natural resources. So limit of development should be determined. Next one, how does long lasting thought help in sustainable development? Natural resources in the environment are limited such that we should not use these resources in access. The concept of sustainable development helps to preserve the present resources for the use of future generation without creating difficulty in the continuation of life in future. Sustainable development helps to conserve the natural resources for the future generation with their proper use at present. So now we are going to discuss differences between development and sustainable development. Development is a process by which the members of society increase their personal and institutional capabilities. Whereas sustainable development, it is the development that meets the need of present generation without compromising the ability of future generation to meet their own needs. Development meets the needs of the present generation only to meet their own needs, whereas the sustainable development, it meets the need of present generation and future generation without compromising the ability to meet their own needs. Next, differences between development activities and environmental conservation. Those activ development activities, those activities which improve the living standard of people, increase the personal and institutional capabilities of members of society are development activities. Similarly, environmental conservation, it is a wise and sensible use of natural resources. Development activities it should be carried out in such a way that there are minimum adverse effect on the environment. Whereas in environmental conservation, proper utilization of natural resources during development activity helps in environmental conservation. By this, we have completed most of this unit, environment and sustainable development. I hope this video was useful to you. If you like this video, please share with your friends and don't forget to subscribe. If you have any queries, drop the comments in the comment section. See you on the next video. Thank you.